mode or anything right now? It's not been over. Okay. Transmission, or, uh, transmission force was from here. Suspension. So this is a stiffest setting. Okay. And then this is to uh, put the power where it needs to be, basically. To each wheel for all the differentials and stuff. Okay. I usually, I always run this. This yeah. not on, it sucks. This I don't really care about because normal setting's fine. Yeah. This I'll put on probably more than half the time. Huh. kind of to go all out. And it'd be cooler to, if you were an actual driver. Right. Uh -huh. An actual driver. Oh my god, squirrel. You, know, you get in a two-wheel drive car and you swing around. Yeah. It's all wheel drive. It's not as cool as that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, I agree. So we're on, like, there's, uh, we're on, like, an, right behind an old airport right now. And years ago, I have a video of an S4 and a chipped um, 335XI, I think. Uh, and we did a little pull here. It was an awful video and everyone hates it, but got a lot of views. Uh, I just had bad camera work and really much hasn't changed. I didn't get a chance to bring all of my uh, camera gear, but in the summer I'm going to get fulls of these cars and I have a whole bunch lined up uh, for when I come back to visit home. But let's uh, stand up on this log and see what kind of, kind of footage we can get. It's a competition M5 versus a black edition uh, GTR. nice little pool. Uh, two very different cars, um, but performance-wise they're they're pretty similar. Just one is purpose-built, uh, the other is, you know, the obviously the 5 Series built up to be, uh, you know, just a performance machine. But um, kind of stinks I don't have all my gear to really get some cool shots of them, and, and the GTR is even dirty on the outside, so I'm gonna definitely coming back in the summer to make sure everything's all cleaned up um, and then we're gonna bring my track and microphones and all kinds of different stuff to really build a nice quality video for uh, everyone around the world but hopefully they come back to me otherwise I got about a seven mile hike home that's fine I can just I can just talk to you guys for a while and, you know that works too really putting these muffs to the test that I got for the camera because uh, there is some wind coming from this direction right now and it has helped in the last video I did notice it helped there's still a hint of it but before it actually would hurt your ears uh, so it's definitely helped I can hear them coming Can I get a ride? Yeah, bro. Thanks. Did I slipped again. That was scary. Did you? Yeah. Oh, wait. I'm pushing it the wrong way. Oh. Oh. You ain't drag some winter tires. No. No. <laughs> yeah, in all fairness, the GTR had winter tires, so <laughs> scratch everything. <laughs> so we're just, we're just having some fun, that's all. These roads are so tight. made it this far thank you for watching I know this wasn't one of my best videos but I only had so much time and I wanted to make sure I was able to bring these two cars to you guys because I did have the opportunity to film them when I come back in summer that's going to be around May or July or May or June and I'm gonna do full reviews of these cars and they're all cleaned up detailed and the GTR actually has some forged wheels on it but because it's winter they had them off so we're going to be covering all of that. Um, also going to have a Porsche 991.2 C4S, Ferrari 458, a Series 1 flat floor, 
XKE Jag. Uh, my friend fully built his Civic Si. Uh, another friend that has a WRX with some upgrades on it. There's there's several other cars that I'm going to come back and spend days reviewing, and I'm going to bring all of that content to you guys. Tomorrow I'm heading out to Los Angeles. Uh, I'm going to be celebrating New Year's out there with some friends, and I'll be doing some vlogging. Um, I'm actually really enjoying the vlogging. I know that's not the main point of the channel, but it is kind of fun to fill in the gaps uh, with some things that I do personally, which I think you guys are enjoying those. They don't get a lot of views, but the uh, you know the diehard RGBG5 fans uh, definitely enjoy it. So appreciate all the support. Love to see all the feedback that I'm getting, and I take it to heart. I you know I analyze everything and try to make the content better. And thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.